Entity Embed is a Drupal 8 module that allows any entity to be embedded using the WYSIWYG CK editor for Drupal 8. Now this project was made by Chandan Singh for his Google Summer of Code project in 2014. So let's see how to use this. Now this module is still in its development phase, so you can download the code here, or you can get it from the GitHub repository at this link. So let's copy this. And I have a development environment set up with the latest Drupal 8.0.0 beta 4 version already and set to go. So let's go ahead and go to the modules folder and let's make a contrib directory. And now let's clone the repository. Now it's pretty small, so it should just take a few seconds. And then here's the site right here. We can go ahead and go to extend and scroll down here somewhere. We should find entity embed right here. Here we go. So let's go ahead and click on that. Save configuration. Now you might get a blank page because there might have been an error, but it's okay and you can just refresh. And if you scroll back down, it should have been enabled. So there we go, it is enabled. And now we can go to the configuration. And here you can you, have, you see two links right here, embed buttons and text format and editor. So let's go ahead and go to embed buttons. Now there's already a node button with the entity type of content. So this, you can embed content entities. So let's add another button. This one we can do for, let's say comments. So comment, and you have all these options for which entity you want to embed, and this will create a new button. So let's go ahead and click comment. And label, we can just say comment again. And you can also choose a button image. Uh, we'll just keep it as default and just click save. And let's add another one. So this one, we can do roles. Let's just do roles. You can also do users, files, actions, blocks. So let's just do roles. And we can also just name this role. And let's click save. So now once you're done with this, go back to your configuration and click text formats and editors. Now here, let's edit the full HTML and click configure. Scroll down and here we see three E's. Now this one is comment, this one is for content, and this one is role. Content is basically the node. So let's go ahead and create a new group. Now we can just uh, name this um, entity embed and apply. And let's just drag these in. So let's drag in content first, comment. Whoops, there we go. And roll. Doesn't want to seem to be going. Okay, there we go. And then down here, you will want to check display embedded entities, or else you won't see it in the CK editor. So that'll enable that filter. And then click Save Configuration. All right, so once you're done with all of this, you can go to Content. And let's create our first post. Let's make this an article. All right, let's go first post. Hi there. And let's just post this. And here's our first post. So now we have our first node or content. So let's go back into content and let's add some more. Let's go to article. And now here we can change the text format to full HTML. And we can include that first post we just made by using this E with content. We just type in the title. So it was first post and it automatically comes up. All you need to do is click that and it'll bring up its ID. Click next, and you can display as default. If you embed that, the whole post comes up and it will include the comments section. 
And if you click it and click this again, you can change the options. So if this is a teaser, this will just give basically the post instead of all the comments and stuff. So we'll just keep it at teaser and we can display the author, but that just seems to do the title. And you can do the label also, which links to the post. So let's go ahead and change this to default and we'll do teaser so it doesn't include the comment section or else we'll have duplicate comment sections but if you want you can so this is embedded first post let's go ahead and post this publish this and here we go we have the first post right here and if we click on this it takes us to node 1 uh, we were previously on node 2 so you can embed posts and content like that. So let's add a comment right now. So let's just do first comment. This is my first comment. Save that. And if we go ahead and add content again, let's create another article. And now let's use the entity embed of comment. So now the title is first comment, so here it pops up. And we can click next. Let's just display as default, embed, and here we go, we have that whole comment. So we can post that, publish that. Oh, whoops, we don't have a title. Um, embedded comment, publish that. And we are, here we have that comment embedded in the post. Now let's go ahead and edit this. We can change that to maybe just the label so it'll just have a link to the comment and if we save that and go here it'll just have that link and if we click that it should take us to the first comment. Now let's go ahead and add one more. And this one is the roles. So maybe administrator. I don't know if, if you want to do this, but you can. This will just have a link to the administrator page. So basically, it's just showing that you can embed any type of entity. So there you go. That's basically what this module does. It's pretty awesome. And that's how you install Entity Embed and use it with Drupal 8.